It is Thursday, August 20th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including anxiety grows as China's Three Gorges Dam hits highest level. Also, courtesy of the Epic Times, typhoon floods batter China as heavy rain threatens Three Gorges Dam. And courtesy of People's Daily, China allocates 460 million yuan for flood relief. We also have some new photos courtesy of CGTN and some new footage in the background of today's video. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is listed at 163.97 meters. The current discharge is listed at 48,600 cubic meters per second. The current inflow is not noted, but a few hours ago it was sitting at 75,000 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And one last interesting piece of information before we get started. The picture you see in the background is of the rice futures chart. I'll read the tweet. Is there a way to quantify the risk of Chinese floods? Try the rough rice futures. The price has recently broken higher and is testing the breakout right now. And our first article is courtesy of The Guardian. Anxiety grows as China's Three Gorges Dam hits highest level. And the subheading says, Officials seek to reassure public after world's largest hydroelectric dam nears capacity amid heavy floods. Extreme floods have hit China's Three Gorges Dam, which recorded the largest inflow of water in its history, prompting officials to assure the public it would not be breached. Inflows to the world's largest hydroelectric dam reached 75 million liters of water a second, according to state media. By Thursday morning, 11 outlets of the dam had been opened to discharge 49.2 million liters of water a second, the largest release since its construction. After two months of heavy floods across central and southwest China, officials have promised the dam can withstand the flows. A breach of the dam, a controversial and unprecedented feat of engineering along the Yangtze River, would be embarrassing for China, which took 12 years to build the mega project, displacing millions and submerging swaths of land. The Three Gorges Dam, which can handle inflows of about 98.8 .8 million liters a second, is already approaching its capacity. Officials expect water levels in the reservoir, whose dam was built to withstand a water level of 175 meters, to reach 165.5 meters on Saturday. The flooding is predicted to last about five days. This week, the Ministry of Water Resources said the standard of construction meant that 111 large reservoirs upstream from the dam could help lessen pressure on the structure. The standard of construction of the dam is high, and it can resist large floods, it said. Upstream from the dam, officials in the city of Chongqing in Sichuan province evacuated almost 300,000 residents before the flooding. On Thursday, levels along the Yangtze near Chongqing reached heights not seen since 1981, when the country experienced its worst floods in a century, leaving 1.5 million homeless. In Chongqing, roads, bridges, parks, and a main highway in the commercial district were flooded, affecting 260,000 people and damaging at least 20,000 businesses, according to officials. Images showed flooding had submerged three-meter-high signs and buildings several stories high. Firefighters were using boats to transport trapped residents. The provinces of Hunan, Henan, and Hubei, where the Three Gorges Dam is located, were also bracing for heavy rains on Thursday. The flooding threatens to derail the country's fragile recovery from the pandemic. The outbreak has caused an estimated 179 billion yuan in losses and displaced more than 4 million people, according to officials. The floods have also raised concerns about food security. A report from the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences said the supply gap was likely to be about 130 million tons by the end of 2025. The Chinese leader toured Anhui province this week, another badly hit area where floods had eased slightly. 
Xi Jinping stood atop a floodgate and visited soldiers, declaring, I have always been concerned about the people in flood-stricken areas. The Chinese nation has fought natural disasters for thousands of years, and we will continue to fight. And this comes courtesy of the EpicTimes.com. Typhoon floods batter China as heavy rain threatens Three Gorges Dam. Heavy downpours in southwest China's Sichuan province, the nearby megacity of Chongqing, and Gansu province have left many areas submerged in water as the Yangtze River and several of its tributaries overflowed. The severity of the rainstorms led China's Ministry of Water Resources to issue a stark warning late on August 18th about the water level at the Three Gorges Reservoir, which is located on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. The water coming into the dam is expected to reach more than 74,000 cubic meters per second on the morning of August 20th, the highest level since the dam was commissioned in 2003, the ministry said according to a report by Chinese state-run media Xinhua. U.S.-based think tank the Heritage Foundation warned in early August that excessive flooding put dams located on the upstream of the Yangtze River under increasing stress. Should the Three Gorges Dam collapse, the think tank said the massive torrent of water would affect millions living downstream, inundating cities including Wuhan and wiping out extensive cropland with China already threatened by a food shortage. In Sichuan, local authorities raised the flood control response to the highest level, that's level 1, of China's four-tier system on August 18th. Floodwaters forced local authorities to evacuate more than 100,000 people on August 18th, some of them residents of Ya'an, who had to escape after the city's riverbanks burst on August 17th. Chongqing has been under level 1 flood control since the afternoon of August 18th as local floodwaters and mudslides have impacted more than 100,000 people in 31 districts and counties according to the authorities. In Gansu province, located northeast of Sichuan, Longnan City was particularly badly hit by the floods. More than 300 homes belonging to about 1,300 residents in Wen County, which is located in the south of Longnan, were buried by a mudslide caused by flooding according to Chinese state-run media. China has been grappling with heavy rainstorms since June. Floods have affected at least 54.8 million people in 27 provinces and regions according to the latest data from China's Ministry of Emergency Management. But some Chinese citizens question the authorities' data and believe the true number of casualties to be higher. On August 18th, for the first time since this year's flood season started, Chinese leader Xi Jinping visited impacted residents in eastern China's Anhui province, touring regions close to the province's Hui River, which is located between the Yangtze River in the south and the Yellow River in the north. While floods continue to ravage much of China, Typhoon Higos made landfall in southern China's Guangdong province at around 6 a.m. local time on August 19th, according to Xinhua. The nearby provinces of Hainan and Guangxi are also expected to see heavy rain. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this is courtesy of peoplesdaily.com. China allocates 460 million yuan for flood relief. China has earmarked 460 million yuan, that's about 66.5 million US dollars, to support flood control and disaster relief in four provincial level regions, the Ministry of Emergency Management said on Wednesday. Designated for Sichuan, Shanxi, Gansu, and Chongqing, the funds were allocated by the Ministry of Finance and the MEM for Flood Control, Emergency Rescue, and Post-Disaster Reconstruction in regions hit hard by floods. The MEM said it has sent a team of 500 disaster relief professionals to Sichuan to aid in local flood control and emergency rescue work. China's state flood control and drought relief headquarters on Tuesday raised its emergency response for flood control to the second highest level and has sent two task forces to Chongqing and Sichuan to guide and assist local authorities in their flood control efforts. 
And our last piece of information is courtesy of CGTN, supposed recent photos of the Three Gorges Dam and Chongqing's floods. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.